Tini Kavitu. Құрметті қандар мен мағзалар, ұлттық күн сақнасына қош келдіңіздер. Экспо көрмесі орталық Азия аумағында алғаш рет өтіп отыр, бұл біздің ел үшін үлкен мақтаныш және абырой. Күн сайын біз өз сақнада салтанатты түрде көрмеге қатсушы елдердің ұлттық күнін ашылу салтанатын өткіземіз. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to welcome you at the National Day stage. For the first time, Expo exhibition is conducted in Central Asia, and we are glad that such an honor fell to our country, the Republic of Kazakhstan. Every day we solemnly conduct the opening ceremony of the National Days of Participating Countries in the framework of the International Specialite Exhibition Astana Expo 2017. Астана Экспо 2017 көрмесіне қатсушы әр бір ел ерекше және біреге. Ал бүгін біз Фиджи Республикасының ұлттық күнін салтанаты түрде ашық деп жарылаймыз және Фиджи Республикасының келген делегаттарды қуанышпен қарсаламыз. Қош келдіңіздер. Every participating country of Astana Expo 2017 is unique and unrepeatable. And today we solemnly declare open the National Day of the Republic of Fiji. And we are pleased to welcome the Prime Minister, His Excellency, Mr. Josai Vorenge Bainimarama, and the delegation of the Republic of Fiji who arrived here to Astana Expo 2017. Біз Астана Экспо 2017 көрмесіне келген Фиджи Республикасының премьер-министрі Аса құрметті Джосайы Воренге Байни Марама Мұрзаны қошыметпен қарсаламыз. Қош келдіңіз. Құрметті қонақтар, құрметті қандар мен мұрзалары, Қазақстан Республикасының мемлекеттік әнұраны. Дейі ладыз әне жәнтілмен, әне нәшінал әнтім әне республик әне Қазақстан. Фиджи Республикасының мемлекеттігі әнұраны. The National Anthem of the Republic of Fiji.
Құрметті қандар мен мұрзалар, құттықтау сөзін айту үшін сақынаға Қазақстан Республикасы Сыртқы Сестер Министрі Құрметті Әбдірахманов Қайрат Құдайберген олын шақырамыз. For the welcoming speech, we invite to the stage the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Mr. Khairat Abdrahmanov. Uh, Your Excellency, Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Fiji, Honorable Chairman Isimov, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I sincerely congratulate you with the opening of the National Day of the Republic of Fiji at Expo 2017 in Astana. I am pleased to welcome you on hospitable Kazakh land in our capital city. We highly appreciate support and participation of Fiji in this very important international exhibition. Ladies and gentlemen, it was my honor and pleasure to recognize Fiji during my first tenure at the United Nations. And I have never imagined that time that it will be my chance to greet on behalf of my nation such honorable delegation crossing literally oceans and lands in order to arrive to Astana. For the first time among CIS and Central Asian nations, the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana, became the host of Expo. For our country, it is both honorable and very much responsible mission. The slogan of the Kazakh exhibition is future energy is quite relevant for the whole international community. The entire world is witnessing a steady trend of growing investment in energy efficiency, energy saving, and renewable energy sources. In other words, future energy. I am confident that our exhibition will open a new page in modern worldview, promotion of ideas of developing clean global energy. The exhibition presents the best world inventions, advanced and prom promoting projects in the sphere of generation and consumption of traditional and alternative energy. I would like to note that the national days held within the exhibition are important tools of international cultural exchange, facilitating strengthening of relations between countries participating in the exhibition. National days let the participants showcase the best examples of their national traditions. And we are sincerely thankful to Fiji for your government, Honorable Prime Minister, for introducing your ancient customs and traditions, and we are going to witness some of them later uh, these uh, the, the moments. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, despite the fact that diplomatic relations between Kazakhstan and Fiji were established not so long ago, namely it was uh, June of 2012, positive grounds were led for the development of bilateral relations and interaction within international institutions and many international initiatives. And it was Fiji standing behind uh, many of them. During the meeting of Kazakhstan official delegations with the President of the Republic of Fiji, Honorable Mr. Ratu Naila Tekau, and other officials of your country in Suva, on the margins of the third Pacific Islands Development Forum Leaders Summit in September 2015, main directions for the development of cooperation between our countries were defined. We are grateful to the government of the Republic of Fiji and other seeds nations for supporting the candidacy of the Republic of Kazakhstan to the non-permanent seat at the United Nations Security Council for 2017 and 2018. Activities in this direction are among the most important foreign policy objectives of my country. And at this August body of the United Nations, Kazakhstan is proudly representing Asia Pacific region and seats in particular. I want to emphasize that Fiji is a reliable partner of Kazakhstan in the international political arena 
We appreciate these relations and intend to strengthen them for the benefit of the peoples of the two countries. Honorable Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, as I have said, it is a matter of great pride for me to address you all at this Fiji's National Day at Expo 2017. It is as though the beautiful island of Fiji from the Pacific is the land of the great steppes. We are especially honored that we have none other than the distinguished presence of the Prime Minister of Fiji here, who is eminently renowned for his leadership on the world stage. We are indeed honored that Fiji participated in the Expo with such strong commitment, further reinforcing this little island state's leadership for mitigating climate change, and so well known for its presidency of COP23. Fiji has been a shining example to the world of how one of the smallest and farthest of countries can be a giant among nations with a population of one billion and more. It has been a voice, bold, loud, and clear that everyone globally has learned to listen to the struggle to save our one and only precious planet. Fiji has gained global eminence. The Prime Minister unveiled the renowned website before representatives of nearly 200 countries attending the UN climate talks in Bonn in advance of the main COP23 gathering in November 2015, which in fact paved the way to the uh, famous Paris uh, agreements. Fiji has also called on all stakeholders to work together to address the multifaceted and multi-layered challenges facing the ocean and took the lead once again for the UN Oceans Conference in New York, where I delegated my honorable deputy to participate on behalf of our government. Thus, Fiji has contributed significantly to all the 17 sustainable development goals of Agenda 2030. Though a country of no more than some 100,000 is a friend to all other 192 countries of the United Nations and is much esteemed for its pioneering efforts in many other spheres too, such as peacekeeping, contributing brave men and women in difficult missions around the world, such as in Middle East, East Timor, Iraq, and many other places. Fiji is on the forefront on the fight for women and youth equality and empowerment, and is a shining example of how it has reached ambitious goals despite limited, obviously, human resources, power. It is known for its great people with great will. And we all salute also Fiji for its wonderful moment in history when it won first gold medal at the Summer Olympic Games for Rugby 7. Congratulations. Uh, by the way, winning very against very formidable teams uh, at these Olympics. And so I can add endlessly, in fact, based on my above-mentioned previous experience. But let me say that one of the greatest distinctions of Fiji is its most eminent diplomat, my dear friend Peter Thompson, who is a global leader now and has been a most outstanding steward of the United Nations General Assembly. His unmatched professionalism, charisma, competence, and very much warm human compassion made his, uh, without any exaggeration, a legend to remember. He led many milestones of accomplishments for the General Assembly and the entire United Nations system, giving us legacy of new vision and insightful innovations as inspiring legacy for the General Assembly. And I congratulate sincerely Fiji and your nation with this uh, achievement. Honorable Prime Minister, thank you very much for being with us and your presence further cements the bonds between Kazakhstan and Fiji, which are steadfast and unshaken. We will help each other not only bilaterally and also work together multilaterally for a world that is safe, secure, and beautiful as your great land for our children and grandchildren to inherit. Kazakhstan is always there by your side in partnership to reach great heights of 
peace, prosperity, security, and sustainable development. And I would like also to take this chance to thank all PSEEDS nations in the name of Fiji and others, those who are actively participating in Expo 2017 for their commitment for partnership with Kazakhstan and Central Asia. In conclusion, I would like to once again congratulate you all on the National Day of the Republic of Fiji within Expo 2017 and wish you all peace and prosperity. Thank you very much. Фиджи Республика с премьер-министра Аса Хурмитта Джосая Воренге Байни Марама Марзан Джаврамас. Please welcome to the stage the Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Джосая Воренге Байни Марама. Good morning, Your Excellencies. Uh, Your Excellency, yesterday, uh, when I met with His Excellency, the Prime Minister of uh, Kazakhstan, during our bilateral, he informed me that only 10 years ago, the population here was about 110,000. Now, it numbers 1 million. It's a good lesson for us back home. So to all Fijians, we have some work to do. The Honorable Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Kazakhstan, the Chairman, the Honorable Fijian Minister for Industry, Trade, Tourism, Lands and Mineral Resources, Your Excellency, the Fijian Ambassador to Kazakhstan, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavinaka, and a very good morning to you all. 12,700 kilometers from our island home, we gather today to celebrate Fiji's National Day at Expo 2017 in the spectacular city of Astana, the capital of Kazakhstan. I'm both delighted and proud that the vast difference, different distance between us has been breached and that I can be with you to showcase Fiji to the world and celebrate our strengthening ties with the government and the people of Kazakhstan. I've been told that Astana is an impressive place, but nothing really prepares you for the spectacle of this ultra-modern city. So I begin by extending my thanks to the Kazakh government and especially His Excellency Mr. Karat Abdrakhanov for your hospitality and convey the warmest greetings of the Fijian people to you all. <clears throat> we have worked hard on the Fijian side to ensure that we bring as much of our Bula spirit of friendship and happiness to Astana as possible. Bula is not only the everyday Fijian greeting that everyone uses in our country, but also means life in the Tauke language of our indigenous people. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the theme of the Astana Expo, focusing on the promotion of green and clean energy, is one that is very close to my heart. Not only because it is vital to us in Fiji, but also because I am, as you've heard, the incoming president of COP23, the ongoing UN negotiations on climate change. But before I address the issue of climate change and renewable energy in detail, I want to say a few words about Fiji's attractiveness as a tourist destination and a place to invest. In many ways for us, the two go hand in hand because the future of our nation and its economic prosperity very much depends on the world taking decisive action on climate change. We place, we place a great deal of importance on our national green growth framework 
because the preservation of our natural environment is our number one priority. The pristine beauty of our islands draws almost a million visitors a year to Fiji. And we have made it quite clear to the world that de no development in Fiji will go ahead, will be given also, will be given the go ahead unless we are satisfied that it is environmentally sustainable. We are especially keen to attract investment in renewable energy because we know that this is critical to the future of Fiji and the whole world. At present, we are spending about a billion dollars a year on imported fossil fuel. And we know that we must turn increasingly to hydro, to wind, to solar, and biofuels if we are to meet our own commitment to the global community through the Paris Agreement to reduce our carbon emission by 30% by 2030. There are many benefits investing in Fiji, such as our position as hub of the Pacific, our rapidly growing, rapidly improving infrastructure, our better roads, better airports, more efficient ports, our general connectivity and world-class telecommunications, our educated, committed English-speaking workforce, our investment incentives, including duty concessions, investment allowances, some of the lowest corporate taxes and personal taxes in the region. And we have, had, we have had eight successive years of solid economic growth, which means that investor confidence in Fiji has never been higher. I keep saying at every opportunity, Fiji is open for business. We are also taking the Fijian brand of quality goods and services to the four corners of the earth and have become one of the world's most desirable holiday destinations. And at every opportunity, including this one, I invite the world to come to Fiji to experience our unique brand of hospitality and friendship. In the words of our tourism slogan, Fiji is the place where happiness finds you. I always say you can find a nice beach and cool drink, cool drink in many places. But only in Fiji will you find the friendliest people on earth. So whenever you live in the world, and how far, however far it might be from our Pacific home, try to make the effort to visit Fiji because I can assure you that an unforgettable experience awaits you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the preservation of our way of life and all that we hold dear in Fiji and the other Pacific Island nation hinges on a decisive global response to climate change, which is why I have embraced the opportunity to lead the ongoing UN negotiations as incoming president of COP23. I've also decided, because of the urgency of the task ahead of us, that it is also time for plain speaking. For me, to be frank by name and frank by nature to abandon some of the usual language of diplomacy and tell, start telling like it is. When the nations of the world gather in Bonn, Germany, for COP23 in November, it will be against the backdrop of a serious challenge by the United States government to the multilateral consensus for decisive action contained in the Paris Agreement of 2015. I say again to President Trump, that the door is still open for you to join the rest of us as we confront the greatest challenge humanity has ever faced. Fortunately, many American states and cities and many U.S. citizens remain con committed to decisive action. But irrespective of the official American position, the rest of the world has embarked on a course of action that is irreversible and cannot be delayed. The paramount objective of course, is to keep global warming to well below two degrees above that of the pre-industrial age and to pursue limits, uh, efforts to limit warming to 1.5 degrees. But let me make this perfectly clear. Encouraging and enabling an effort by the global community to stay within 1.5 degrees must be our mission, however difficult that appears to be. In my view, this simply not good enough. We want more action 
all over the world and at all levels of government now. And that is why I'm building a grand coalition of government at all levels, civil society, the private sector, and ordinary citizens to keep up the pressure. Because national governments alone will not fix this. And I appeal to the government of Kazakhstan and all 115 nations represented at this expo to join me in this quest. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, if we are to achieve any of these objectives, there is no alternative but to embrace an alternative energy future. And that is what Fiji is doing. Our own theme for Expo 2017 is code, ensuring access to affordable, reliable, and sustainable and modern energy for all. And I encourage you all, as you visit our pavilion, to examine the progress that Fiji has made in developing hydro, solar, biomass, and other viable energy sources, and the efforts we are making through various incentives to attract investors into the renewable energy sector. Amongst other things, the Fijian government has uh, partnered with the International Finance Corporation and our central bank to issue 100 million in green bonds to raise capitals to fund projects that have environmental benefits. I want to take this opportunity to warmly thank the government of Kazakhstan for the financial support that you are providing to Fiji to undertake research on our future energy needs. The resulting report is displayed inside our pavilion where you'll find maps showing where we are already utilizing wind and solar energy and where there is potential to do more. It's a valuable contribution by Kazakhstan to our national development and a wonderful example of how a comparatively small outlay can make a great deal of difference. And I thank you. So, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I close by urging you all to inspect the Fijian Pavilion and entire Pacific Islands Plaza. Here we showcase the richness of our natural and cultural diversity, highlight our dependence on the ocean and seas around us, uh, demonstrate the effect of climate change on Pacific Island countries, encourage tourism and trade, display our growing collection of Fijian-made quality products and services, and showcase the investment opportunities in Fiji that await anyone with imagination and enterprise looking for new horizons. My thanks goes to all of you who have worked so hard to make our presence in Astana a success, including the teams from Fiji and Kazakhstan. It has been well, well worth the long journey for me to be with you today, and I now have great pleasure to officially launch the celebration of the National Day of the Republic of Fiji at the Astana Expo 2017. Thank you all, and God bless you. Your Excellency, we express our gratitude for your welcome speech. Asagurmeta, Premier Minister Marzana Kotoktao Sozushin, Algas Pildremis. Kurmeta, Hamdarme Marzalar, Kazar Sizdir, the Fiji Republic as Nung Kava de Vatalatan Salim Biru, Tukta Surin, Nazarlar Nzra, Osnamas Bull, Salim Biru Salta, Wute Mangas Dadamdar, Mimliket Bashlar, Jene, Asa Kurmeta, Konaktar Garnalada. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now the traditional welcome ceremony, Kava. This welcome ceremony is only accorded to a special guest, chiefs or nobles, or someone with very high status. Please welcome.
Utama. Wow, what a sack. In a Lusagani, Tabarakani, Pirocani, where we matani two, and a matatu level as Kazakhstan. Sena no muni itutu kuni kilele buki na na weburu na ya sayuburubura. The Honorable Minister Foreign Affairs Kazakhstan. Amu ilabi sa kanto na abatu ni bonu ay matamuni. Akamuna ng lele sar. Nandra kamuna ng sa kanto ni mamiliululip. Namatento biti. E na nandra bonua na tia no bosa na turang na rochu kiba. Akamuna ng araw kato kanto ni mamingasi. Mingal ng galubi. E baka mamanta sa kanga. Baka binibig na sa kanga ni numni baka mamanta tumay na siya ni kuwa. Muni may sero ni kimani. E baka sa kawo parita kasi ko na nandra kamuna nga. E baka ayon to baka tumbor na ni mamigas. Nandra kamuna sa kanga ni mamiliuliu. Natya na bosa na tura na rochi kiba. Pero na lewe biti. Kumbu na bosa na ngon tura na buni balu tui kam. Kumbur masanga ngon marambal na rochi tinrike tina buni balu. Matem tu biar kau nyangka nato bata, mendono saka ubura. Sony.
Tama. Wow. Oi, oi, oi. Waturang sa tsuk na mamani matin tule wo kasaksan. Kana minsta. Kikangara wo na rika mimbleta na bunoteng. Waturang na vi motombure wa tsini randa bena lamani wale 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 bena ma single bena single. Kamu na ngalelai. Lavi tsuk mo tamini na ngon turang. Bernira tebi na kena mali bosa laka laka. Kamu na ngana kamu na ngama kawan. Kamu na ngana nra kamu na ngana ilu ilu ni mating tobi chi randambe na tena bona ngon turang arok tikiu. Kamu na ngana neba mama. Mama mama dani alvi na kana numni i rani mechik na singa bona numni mechik na singa kebi chi na dal ni songa lange lange na dun maka tsuk na lama ni. Sinuna ni kwa na kena kamu nanga salila ya bari tekin dona ya ulila ya ba mama la ba ulila la na kura nga na ilulu ni matin tura sanga ya sana kamer saluma me ba dawa tekin na numuni dami ma ina sinuna ni kwa kena kamu nanga salila ya sambal mbala buna bosin kamu nanga aba dambe na buna ya nuk buna wasa ba dambo tekin sa dambo tekin na kena kena mura sa sore ga tu
Құрметті қандар мен бақзалар, сақнамыздың төріне Фиджи Республикасынан келген Дольче тобын қарсы алыңыздар. Dear ladies and gentlemen, now the Dolce Performance Group, which will sing the traditional songs of the Republic of Fiji, will perform for you. Please welcome.
Fiji Respublikas Nangelgen Dolce Tobna Hoshemet Ternes. Let's give a warm round of applause to Dolce Performance Group. Hormet Tonaktar was men Fiji Respublikas Nangoltukun and Nashul Satanat Nang Rismishene Madini Bulgana Airtimes Barlak Kelgen Honaktarga. Алғы сайты Фиджи Республикасының павильонына қарай жүретін шеруге қозылуға шақырамыз. Dear ladies and gentlemen, at this moment we conclude the official and cultural parts of the National Day Ceremony of the Republic of Fiji. Honorable guests, we thank you all for coming today and invite you to join the parade leading to the pavilion of the Republic of Fiji. Кей мами вия вакаратайка, нэй мами вака вина вина катаки, Ve kemuni kere, vinaka vakalevo.